back and front, even in the crotch, it's all sequin. So Chanel just debuted their Cruise 2023 show in Monte Carlo in Monaco and I'm actually pretty excited for this show like I, I love the south of France and I Monaco is definitely a city if you want to feel dirt poor that's where you go and you know maybe one or two days there is enough and after that you kind of feel like this big and then it's better to go somewhere else. But Monaco is known as the playground for the rich and the very wealthy and it is known for their grand prix as well as the uh, casinos and the gambling and just the glamour, the yachts, etc. So very leisure city. I was super excited to see what they had in store for cruise. The cruise collection is always very uh, reminiscent of resort wear, very vacation ready, um, uh, you know, for people who want to escape the cold winter seasons and go somewhere warm and sometimes the cruise collections don't really look vacation-y but this one sort of did. Now I did watch the show but I didn't watch it very um like I didn't watch it like with the microscope like I just kind of had it playing and I just looked and you know some of the stuff looks kind of okay. Now that on the site they actually have the photos with close-ups of some of the shots so we're gonna go through it together and we're just gonna see. Uh, you know, if there's anything worthwhile looking at. Um, like I said, not everything that is in this collection will be debuted on the runway. There's always going to be other stuff, other colors that will come out at that time. But, you know, of course there's Instagram leech photos that we all um, look at and <laughs> that is not probably going to be in the runway show. And we'll find out closer to release date. Okay, so we're going to look through Cruise 2022-2023 show and like it, it's very monaco like the way <laughs> just 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 some of the themes like race car driving um like casino chips uh other things that just remind you of what this whole country is all about it's actually a country you know um but anyway let's go through the looks and if you haven't watched the show already Maybe it's a good time to tune in, but it's nice to have all the photos and all the looks on the site because you can look at everything. So this red looks really nice for look number one. Um, I'm really liking it. It looks like it's all beaded. Like the trim and everything is beaded. But, oh, this is like a onesie. Yeah, no, that, that's kind of just ruined. <laughs> I thought that was a jacket and pants, but this is like a onesie. Um, I like the color. I do. I'm not sure what's underneath. Under oh, so that's like a very like like the tank top underneath. First of all, it's covered in sequins, and it's got like a very very like you know pronounced halter neck. There's probably going to be a lot of side boob showing. Uh, looking at the bag, nothing really special. Um, the hat is very out there. I'm sure a lot of people will like that. And then you have the, you know, earrings, the large earrings that look like a casino chip. Um, that will probably end up in a sale at some point. <laughs> yeah, so actually no, it's not all beaded. It's knit, but then you have some crystal embellishments on the sleeve. So it's like it's like a you know the uniform of a race car driver really oh and is that a dice on the no just a cube okay so let's move on the the hat is kind of cute but like where would i wear that so okay let's go to look number two i do not like this this is very unflattering it doesn't even look good on a super like on a, on a model <laughs> right um again a onesie like why are they making these onesies as if we're gonna wear chanel ready to wear and go on a racetrack somewhere I, I wouldn't do that um there's just no shape the helmet i mean this, I don't know how much this will be, but you know, if anybody, I don't know if there's any sort of like proper like head protection with that or if it's certified, concussion proof. <laughs> um, the hat, all covered in sequins, says number one. I'm not a fan of that. Uh, we got a choker. Let's see what else we've got here. The 
The model's pretty, but this outfit doesn't do her justice, so no, I'm not, I'm not a fan. Okay, again, with a onesie. What is with these onesies? Why are, why are we wearing these, like, coverall... They're like, they look like coveralls. Fancy coveralls. But, um... Yeah, not into that. She's carrying flowers. There's a lot of flowers in the show. Again, there's the hat as well. That's all, like, sequin embellished. There's a lot of sequins in this show. There's a little helmet bag. Or a minotier. Uh, I don't know if it will open or, you know, hold anything, maybe a little bit, but nothing really. I really do like this cuff that's there, that's really pretty, I don't know how much that will be. The belt is nice, those stretchy belts are very um, comfortable to use, they come in different renditions and this is a kind of nice uh, welcome change. T-shirt, again, sequins underneath, like, they're going to charge an arm and a leg for this and then, you, again, you see this sort of um, heart necklace and, I mean, I've seen stuff like that in the sale before. You have this sort of like um, checkerboard, sort of almost like a checkerboard uh, pattern uh, tank, uh, tank underneath that could be cute. I would have to see it up close and here's a close-up of the Minosier, which um, is interesting. I mean, I think that is cute if you're into like race cars and driving, like that would be definitely something that is up your alley. Look number four. Oh god. This is like all over sequin. It's more fitted than like look number two, but it's all over sequin. Okay, I can make this. <laughs> I can go to an Indian store, we have several here, <laughs> buy fabric, it's full sequin fabric, I kid you not, I can get it for you for like $10 a yard, and we can make this if we wanted to and just stick on some buttons. This looks really, itch like, I mean I'm sure it's lined, but like when, if I was to walk in this, like the thighs rubbing together, like sequins would be coming apart everywhere, this is not a practical look. Um, again. Like, who, like anybody with curves would not fit into this. So, okay, let's look at the accessories. You've got this like card holder. It looks like a card. Um, it looks like an ID badge, like on a on a, a necklace. And then you have this little. Let's see if we get a little close up here. Uh, the hat. It looks. It looks cheap. I like sequin. I like sequin. I have sequin um, items, but like it, it has to be done in a specific way. Um, okay, there's some more images of the car. Okay, so there isn't a really close-up shot of that little ring, but you see how there's like a ring with a little bag hanging off of it? It's kind of cute, a little bit, you know, it could be annoying because, you know, it'll just be flapping about. Again, look number five. This is like a onesie. This is a onesie. I thought it was a jacket, but it's a onesie. The bag looks interesting, kind of like a hobo shape. It's like a glazed leather. I don't know if it's calfskin or lambskin. Um, gloves, cute, but anytime you have a glove like that with that mesh, then if you're wearing any rings, like it's game over with anything sticking up. I really do like that cuff, but I don't know, want to know how much it is. This, I think that's a seahorse, or is it a snake on the necklace? Really nice, the hoop earrings are really cute. Hat, outfit, it, it's like a fill. It really is a fill. Um, let's see some closer shots of the bag. Why? Why are they doing Like, I understand, like, play suits were cute. When they did Spring Summer 2020, the play suits were cute. It was like a blazer, it had, like, the shorts attached. That was cute, and, you know, but this is just not a flattering look, and especially when they've covered everything in, like, sequin. Like, look at this. This is all sequin. Do you know how much this is going to be? And how impractical this is going to be, and not... Who's buying this? Again, look number six. See, I didn't, I couldn't tell on the runway, but now that I look at the photos, I don't know if this is all sequin, but you've got, okay, the gloves are cute. Baby pink gloves are cute. Just don't wear rings with it. The helmet is cute. The pink bag necklace. And then you have the little like poker chip earrings. That'll end up in a sale somewhere. Um, okay, this looks like it's not, like, it looks like it's like a terry sort of tweed material. Looks a little bit more comfortable, but 
And what is this like? That's a pretty, pretty sequin bag, but not practical. Okay. No, no for me, but looks a little bit more wearable than the other stuff. Okay. Look number seven. Again, another freaking onesie. What is this? Oh. That looks awful. It's like snake print. Awful. That is, I don't even know what the t shirt looks like underneath, but what is. What is going on? Okay, you've got another helmet bag. This bag is kind of nice. It's kind of like a doctor bag. Um, there's sequins like on the butt. <laughs> like I'm used to wearing embellished clothing. Like don't get me wrong, as like an Indian person, like we do have a lot of embellishments. Like not so much on the back sometimes, but you, sometimes you do have outfits, but like this, no. See, you look all over sequin. Okay, so this material in between, the white, that is, I think, the look ahead, which looks a little bit more comfortable, but. Oy, okay. This also, okay, this looks a little bit more wearable, but not my thing. This orange color in the bag is really nice. I'm not sure about these shoes. Looks like they've got a bit of a heel. I have to see them up close. Let's look at the costume jewelry, the hat. Um, no, they've, they've had this sort of checkered, tinsely type of material rolling around in the sail racks um, for the past couple of seasons. So I don't know if this will do very well in the hat. Like who's, it looks very uncomfortable. Again with this, again, more sequin, but then you have this little camellia um, round bag, which could be quite nice. It looks tiny though. Like it looks really small. I don't, it's not going to fit a card holder. Is that on a belt? No, it's on a, uh, it's on a bag strap. Earrings look kind of cool though. I don't know what animal that is, but <laughs> it looks kind of cool. Um, Jack, eh, no. Uh, do I even bother? Oh gosh. Look at that t-shirt. Ooh. Yikes. See, I couldn't tell that this was sequin on there. Okay, what is this? This is look number 10, another onesie. Okay, this is still wearable. I wouldn't buy it. Still wearable. Belt's really nice. What is she holding there? She's got gloves, fingerless gloves, sunglasses, and that's all they're showing us. There's nothing else. Okay, let's move on. Look number 11. I wasn't a fan of, but <laughs> look at that little slot machine, <laughs> Minozier. I love that. Um, I've heard, I've heard that the price of this, because I saw it on Instagram and I asked it. So I think it's, I think it's like around like twenty eight thousand. But I don't know if that's US dollars or Canadian, but still really expensive. Probably won't hold anything. But that that is just, let's see if we can get close up. Oh. <laughs> it's got the little jingling like coin. <laughs> can you like, can you imagine just like me like <laughs> that would be such an amazing Vegas bag. Um not really sure about the jacket. The pants are a definite no. Um Again, with the sequin. Okay, well the top underneath is still doable. Kind of reminds me of the La Pasta collection, but... Okay, look number 12. Uh, sequin all over jacket. You've got kind of like a jogger style pant. What's bag? What bag is it? It's the same sort of hobo type of bag that she's got. Knit fingerless gloves. Um, this looks a little bit more, well, you know, it's just it's like a, just a look, right? So. But there we have it, bags. They're really pushing a seasonal bag. So, okay, let's move on. Next. Um, all sequin again. Not a fan of the jacket, not a fan of the necklaces. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we need to see here. Let's look at the bag. It looks like a hat box bag. It's been done before. 
yeah. Yeah, it, it's been done before. We're not we're not blown away. I mean, it has like a bit of like a It's got the Chanel written in the chain, which is kind of nice, but um oh, what is this? So there's okay, so there's this hula hoop bag that came out a couple of years ago by Karl Lagerfeld. It was huge. It was almost like comical. And then you have these like little accessories, like miniature versions of this. So if you want to pay homage to that, that's kind of interesting. Um, see, it's like flapping about like right there. Now, I don't know if that's a belt or if it's just like a little charm that you hang on there, but interesting. That would be something interesting to get. Not a fan of this look at all, but what do we have here? I do like those earrings. Those are nice. We will be screenshotting that. <laughs> um, anything else in this look that we want to see? Yeah, see? Look at those earrings. Oh, those sweet. Those are really nice. Very nice. And then you've got, again, she's got... <laughs> so, a miniature size of that huge hula hoop bag. Tiny. It's got to be like this big. Probably won't hold anything. Like... I, I like that. I like that as a little, you know, just like a little, <laughs> little piece. Um, that's special. I mean, the, yeah, it's it's a nice nice one to get. Okay, <laughs> just if you if you already have your classics and you just want something ridiculous, like this would be a nice thing to get. Okay, let's go to the next look. Look number fifteen. Um, okay, so you know, big bags are coming back. You've got this, they've done something similar to this before, many years ago, got that kind of gold bomber, which can work, okay? Not really my cup of tea. And then you have this romper underneath. And it's not covered in sequin, but there are little crystals, so you know what that means, okay? What else does she have on, okay? Oh, those are the shoes. Those shoes look quite sensible. I think that's a, it's a nice shoe. I think, yeah, I wouldn't mind trying that on. And then the bag, I can't see the front of the bag. Okay, and then this necklace. This looks like one of the necklaces from fall, winter 2019, um, similar. And then you have this like little sort of necklace that has the shot nail on the sides. That's kind of interesting, okay. Next look. Uh, I don't know if this is a bodysuit underneath that checkerboard print and then you've got the shorts okay that bag I kind of like that bag it's nice um, and then the sandals sandals are also cute um, what else anything else on here that we need to see cuff mm, not really a fan all right let's move on okay I really like this it's sort of anorak um, kind of similar to what I'm wearing um, I really like that. That's a really nice piece. Well, it's a very like collection specific piece and it has all of the little um, patches on it. I really do like that. Um, and I think it would be really flattering by cinching in the waist. It would be nice if it had a hood, but I doubt it. And then you see this magenta pink. It reminds me of the magenta pink from 22P. I'm really happy that they're introducing more of these hot pinks now instead of the baby pinks. I'm kind of over seeing so much baby pink. I think you can only have so much baby pink. You really need to bring those vivid colors out and I'm, I'm happy that, you know, we're sort of seeing that again. Um, yeah, I really do like that. That's a really nice one. Um, but other than that, okay, so let's move on. Uh, the belt is nice. I Underneath it looks like a, a romper, but it has the patchwork, if you can kind of tell. This jacket's like all over sequin, like it's gonna get, no. And what is, <laughs> the bag's kind of interesting. It's like the three coin purses attached to each other. Interesting, very interesting. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay, look at the little bag on the necklace. That is, that is cute. I don't know how much that will be, but that is really cute really really liking the little like costume jewelry that's in there okay so when they had this print on the runway I wasn't a fan the, the race car flags I wasn't a fan um, and then these like metallic 
pants, no. And then you have this, I don't know what this ball is supposed to resemble. It can't, it doesn't come to my mind of what it's supposed to be. Maybe like a beach ball? Probably, like a Monaco themed beach ball. And again, yeah, not into this print. I really don't like it. I do like the necklace though. The helmet Minaudi is cute. What else do we see? And that's pretty much it that's popping out to me for this look. Not again, this all over print. It's very, mm, it's not It's not personally my, my thing, okay? Um, let's see what bag she's carrying. The bags, kind of like a velvet version of the first bag. Um, ooh, this cuff is interesting. Is that supposed to be like a dragon or like a serpent or something? I really do think that's interesting. Very like, very nice, uh, no. Okay, what's this belt? It's like this kind of serpent theme. This is kind of nice. It reminds me of like a gold version of like those raffia uh, type of bags, but it's like, oh, and then you have the little belt, hoop bag. Okay, moving on, moving on. Okay, look number 23, I think we're almost done. <laughs> this, what is this bib? Okay, well let's look at the necklace. It's got seashells on it, if I'm not mistaken. Could be cute and interesting. Uh, no, I do not like this. Why? No. Okay, moving on. No. No. But I'm liking the arm candy. I like the arm cuff. That's there. Ooh. Yeah, when I saw this stretch, I was like, yeah, not into it. I wasn't even paying attention. This could be wearable. Um, I wouldn't wear something that low, but I would, if I was to wear this, I would wear like a long like t-shirt underneath or like, this looks too, well, it's kind of thin, but not summery. It's not, it's not very cru like cruise or resort sounding. The, the hat's kind of cute. Um, yeah, I don't know what to tell you guys. There's not much uh, potential here. Mm, no. Mm, sequin bag. It's sequin mini. Could be pretty, like up close. It does actually it does look quite glitzy and nice. You just can't tell because it's during the day. But that's actually quite nice. Okay, look number 27. Not into it. Do not like it. Anything else interesting going on? There's a like net leggings. Like what? No. What is this? I do not like this. This does nothing for her. It's like a tube dress. A very expensive tube dress. No. Okay. <laughs> the little hoop bag earrings. Would you wear those? Let me know. Let me know in the comment section down below. I heard they're very expensive, so you can maybe get a pair and split with your friend. Okay, I actually, now that I look at this, I actually kind of like do like this skirt with little bows. That's actually really nice. Again, the cuff, and then she's got a cuff with the little hoop. I saw this on Instagram, like you can open it. I think there's like a mirror inside, which is really nice. So I do like the skirt. The skirt is very nice, and you can see the little hoop bag there. That's kind of nice. Okay, not into the top. And this, uh, no. I do not like this dress, um, but you have little minaudier. And yeah, um, okay. I like this. I really do like this. And I saw a picture of it on online and I really like this, but I'm sad to discover that this is actually a dress. Um, and that is just, just makes it more impractical. Like, I mean, I guess like as a dress, but then it could be workable, but then where that jacket line hits, it's like a drop waist effect and it's not flattering, uh, at least for me. And this could have 
been far more successful, I think, if they had made this a two-piece. Like, they just went and ruined it. So it looks to be quite embellished as well, which will obviously bring up the price. I really do like the tweed on this. I like how it drapes along the body. It really is nice. And then you do have the, like, the little hula hoop on the, on the cuff, which is nice. But see, it's got the crystals. You see that? That's going to bring up the price as well. But, you know, this piece had so much, like, potential. Like, it, it really could have done... I don't know if it, like, I can't say, I don't know what people are ordering. Right now, a lot of the people that make the decisions of what boutiques order are in Paris and they're making, doing the orders because during um, 2020, 2021, they weren't able to travel and do that in person. They were just doing everything through photos and now they can actually feel the material, um, which is kind of interesting to see what they'll choose. But. I really love this. I just wish that they made this into a jacket and maybe offer a separate skirt if you really want to, but it just, it kind of ruined it for me. Okay, so here we have this look and this is where we see, um, I'm not really thrilled again with this dress, that drop waist is very unflattering, um, caused by the hem of the shirt, like it's, it's not the most flattering, but look at the sneakers. Um, so okay, before I get to sneakers, look at the tennis, like the tennis racket bag. So they did also have a tennis racket on the runway, but then you have this little bag. Now, it seems as though Chanel can come out with something in the shape of literally anything and it will sell, aka the heart bag. This is cute, um, but I think if you are somebody who loves tennis or a fanatic of tennis, this will be perfect for you. Uh, I don't even want to know how much this is, but um, yeah, the color's nice though. The color of the outfit's nice, but I don't know what you put in there. Is oh, it's actually a mirror. I think I saw a photo of that. So you unzip it. You see how that handles there? So you can actually pull it out, and it's a mirror. Very fancy mirror. To see, like, I mean, it's interesting what people would buy. <laughs> Um, all right, next look. Okay, I actually really do like this jacket. This looks very similar to like other crew's um, jackets uh, that they've done in the past. I really do really like this piece. Um, and I'm glad they made it into a separate, thank God. I think I didn't look over the sneakers. They didn't show the sneakers, but the sneakers of the first look, oh, sorry, the look before that, um, they're, they're like a gold sort of sport trail sneaker, which is kind of interesting. I think that would be really nice to take a look at. Okay. Uh, and then this is where she's holding the tennis racket in this look, look number 33. Okay, so look number 34. Uh, the jacket actually could be quite cute. Um, I'm not really a fan of this lace top. Um, the metallic belt is actually kind of nice. I do think that is, and the chameleon necklace is really pretty. What is this going on with the ears? Let's take a closer look. Oh, it's like a headband that goes around. Very pretty. The bag is kind of nice too. Okay, moving on to the next look. So this is where she's got those handbag <laughs> earrings. So if you're into it, it reminds me of the O. Kelly earrings from Mad Men's. Um, but these are the handbag version. That's kind of nice. I do kind of like that. That it's pretty. <laughs> um, let's see what else is there. Okay. Scarf bag is a nice camera bag. It's like a, I think that like leather that's interwoven that would really like fray. And then look number 36. So you've got a mini bag that has a tennis racket on it. I think it's a mirror attached. I don't know, it's like a little coin purse. Um, again, all sequin, just sequin everywhere. Yeah, no. Um, but this looks more cruise-like. Again, you have another tennis racket bag. You have the hoop bag necklace. And then she's got the little hot pink um, earrings. I think the accessories in this collection are... Yeah, see, this is a mirror. The accessories in this collection are very fun. But the ready-to-wear is just not it. Um, not really a fan of this blue. I'm just, just not me. This has potential. I do like this jacket. It kind of reminds me of what I'm wearing. Uh, and then she's got this massive pink tennis racket. And then she has a little pink classic flap on a, on a, on a necklace, which is interesting. 
um, and very, very cute. Very interesting. Okay, and then this, I just don't know what's going on with this one. Do we even bother? Okay, the earrings are kind of cute because it's got the big heart and then the dangles, the dangles on it. Mm, okay. And this again, is this all sequin? No, it's not, thank God. But there's embellishments on the shoulders. And then the choker is kind of nice. Um, vanity case, nothing new that we haven't seen before. But see, this is the thing. Like with all this, I do love embellishments. Don't get me wrong. But then, like that's really, um, like I wish they could have done done it better if they were gonna do it. In my opinion, um, the vanity case has the Chanel on the chain. If that makes anything different. So look number 41. This cardigan could work, but then it has these sequin lapels, and then there's like this halter. Henley style um, bodysuit or swim. I said it's not a bodysuit, it can't be a swimsuit. Um, bag is interesting. Interesting how they styled this. This had potential. Um, I'd have to see it in person if it would work. But I do, I don't know if I like it as a set, but I do really like the earrings that she's wearing and the sunglasses and the little mini bag and the little hoop bag. I do like that. It is really nice. The outfit, the top has some potential, but I don't know if this is all like embellished. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, the top is probably going to be very popular, very cute. What is the bag she's holding? Oh, and now it's backless. Who's gonna wear? <laughs> okay, you want to be comfortable in a t-shirt, and then yeah, now you have to worry about like the bra situation. Um, this is a really interesting cube. I don't know what it would be. It's probably a mirror inside. I no comment. <laughs> no comment on this at all. Okay, uh, I think that's a swimsuit. Not the biggest fan. Earrings are. Those are nice too. They're like a diamond with the CC in the middle. That's nice. And then she's also carrying the slot machine bag, which I love. I love. I really love. I would I would take that to like an appropriate um, venue <laughs> and, and, and wear that just for kicks. Okay. And then uh, this does not suit. Like this is very unflattering. Like, being that long, like I just don't like that that silhouette and the frills. Mm, see, I have thrills. I have a frill coat collar, which is nice. And then there's a dress shirt. How many looks are there? Gosh, there's so many looks. The dress shirt is just like any dress shirt. Like you could get this dress shirt somewhere else. So I'm not a fan of that. And then here, sequin jacket. I'm. There's not really much that I would... Okay, it's this sequin bag. I'm not sure how much this would be, but um, it seems like it would be a lot. That could be very pretty. Uh, how many looks do we have to go through? Oh gosh. 49. What is going on here? What? Okay, let's go to the stuff that we will actually not reject. Okay, I know there's the hula hoop bag on necklace. We've seen that. Um, this bag reminds me of the Bottega Jody bag, smaller, not a fan of whatever she's wearing, that is just, no. And this is what caught my eye too, this little bag with the floral applique. So this sort of sequin embellished um, bag, this shape comes in from season to season and it can vary in price. I don't know if there's like a close up shot, but some can be not so expensive and some can be very expensive. This looks, looks like it's going to be really expensive. I think it's like close to 28k if I'm not mistaken. Um, so no. <laughs> Here it is. So this has got like all the floral appliques on it. So I'll insert price here from what I've heard of how much this will be. But anyway, um, no. No, no, no. Not into it, not into this. 
Yeah, no. So a lot of this is kind of like a dud. Uh, oh gosh, okay, here. So I do like the top, but I don't think I'd want to spend that kind of like, well, they're targeting like a different clientele, right? But like this is very pretty as like a little piece to wear with a cardigan. Not a fan of these pants. Um, look 58, there's got this bib effect. High-waisted pants with a flare, that could be a good, uh, good one to get. And then you've got this like camellia like arm thing and even on her it looks like it's pinching her flap so um, not something that would be that would be doable and what is this asymmetric the red is kind of nice though red bag i hope that will come in like other pieces okay there's a lot of looks here so i'm getting really tired but okay um there's this eight i'm actually not impressed with oh actually the skirt could work no, no. But she's got the hula hoop on the on the cuff. There's a close up of the see that all the applique and it's all see oh my gosh. So it's fully sequin with the little appliques on top. So that's gonna be a pretty penny and it's not even that like wearable. Um, this dress doesn't excite me will just emphasize how pear-shaped I really am so we will not be looking at that but what is she wearing she's got looks like a oh she's got a backpack she's got a 22 backpack um and in white so you know if you're into the backpack um that's something that's up your alley and then again fully sequin jumpsuit with holes in <laughs> the jacket could be doable it's the same as the bag, the little mini bags. So this is probably gonna be a fortune. But like, it's not, like the, the dress, like it's, yeah, like where, like who would buy it? I'm sure there's people who would buy it, but who would buy it? Okay, so they have this like sort of boho chic, bridal, like wedding dress sort of theme. The top could be something, like again, not wearable all the time, but it's like a, you know, if you wanted to pair it with another dress. And then the skirt just looks like a big doily. So what else is she carrying? That's it. That's all she's carrying. Yeah, no. Um, I was excited about this, but now that I look at it, it is all sequin. Fully sequin. Back and front, even in the crotch, it's all sequin. But I really like this sort of like, you know, cake icing pink. I was very excited when I saw it, but I didn't realize that this is all sequin. So, like even the jacket, like I liked how it was a bit cropped, you know, it's a little bit more flattering, it hits you at a nice um, place. And then the pants, like you'd just be like chafing your thigh, like the, the sequins off. Like this, this is not a practical piece. Okay, and then this, again, all sequin. The little heart bag, the little, um, not heart bag, rope. We're moving on to other collections now, but the little hot pink um, classic flap bag is really cute. Um, but oh, it's all sequin. Why are they, oh my goodness, look number 65. This is like, a, what accessories is she wearing at least? Okay, so you do have a necklace that has a little dice on it, so that's very like, you know, reminiscent of Monaco. I really do like that choker. They've done something like that in the past. And then what else has she got? It's awful. <laughs> it's really awful. This is awful. Look number 66. Absolutely, absolutely. It's like as though she went to like a fabric store where you get like a surplus of like sequin fabric and just sewed everything together. No, not a good look. Okay, and then what else? Where else are we? Okay, I think that is it. Okay, now I did see the swimsuit. I don't think there's a. I'll try to insert a photo. It's. 
I, when I saw it on the model, it didn't look good on her at all. It It's like a checkerboard print and, um, you know, it's kind of the same as like a race flag. And where those boxes hit, like the white boxes and the black, where they hit on your body is entirely dependent on who's wearing it. And that could work horribly. That could end up looking horrible on anybody because it can widen you in places where you do not want to be wide and narrow you in places where you don't want to be narrow. So I'm not a fan of the swimwear either. I'm actually quite disappointed in all of the looks. There's, I mean, maybe like one or two pieces that I think are okay, but the rest of them, I really think that these are all gonna, I don't even think a lot of people would order these because they're, unless you're like, you know, very, very, um, like a huge fan of all of their ready to wear and wanna have something from every collection. But it, it's kind of, even what I noticed with spring, summer 2022, is that they had very few pieces of um, their ready to wear. So unless you pre-ordered something, like you were guaranteed to get it, but like some things, like they only had like one or two of, like they didn't have a lot of stock of the ready to wear. So maybe they're moving towards just taking orders and maybe ordering a few things in the boutique so they don't have the surplus lying around. Um, because I've spoken to a few of you and some of you have told me that, that they weren't able to, you know, they didn't have a lot of pieces in the boutique. Like if you ordered something, great, you were able to get it and say that person passed, then that piece would go on the floor. It's similar to what's happening with Dior, which I didn't know, but apparently um, if you pre-order something like a jacket or whatnot, at least in Canada, at least here, um, then those pieces would be here but other than that like you can't just they won't just have like a bunch of bar jackets you know what I mean so it's just to eliminate the wastage and I don't know I don't think a lot of, I don't know the pricing from some pieces that I've seen is really really expensive so considering that a lot of the pieces are sequined they're gonna be pretty much up there I don't think and a lot of people are gonna be ordering this stuff but the accessories are a bit of a win like the they're just cute they're you know collectible there's something very funky about them if you really like race cars if you really like tennis if you really like um, like little motifs from previous collections like the hoop bag um, then those are for you and I'm pretty sure those are also an arm and a leg so if you want to pre-order that maybe now would be the time to do that I think we're kind of at the tail end um, you know some uh, some boutiques have probably started taking orders already so if you do have something on your mind then definitely you can request it but that's it um yeah i don't know how i feel about this um yeah i'm not it's just it, it's awful i i, <laughs> I don't want to be mean but it's awful there's maybe like two pieces i hope you guys enjoyed my reaction unfolding of these looks now that i see them up close and i will see you next time